Let's talk about exporting material from within Lagos. This is a really awesome feature uh, that can be very helpful for when you want to have a physical copy of something from within Lagos, and you can do it with just about anything. Uh, let's start off with a sermon, because this is how I often used it. Um, let's see here. Let me type in... Here we go. This is a sermon I had preached a couple years ago. I had a tendency to manuscript my sermons where I was able to just read verbatim what I had written. It uh, doesn't work for everyone, but it worked for me. So I have uh, this here, and let's say I wasn't going to be able to have a tablet up there with me, and I definitely didn't want a laptop in the pulpit with me, and I'm not going to be reading it off of my phone, so I need to print this out. Well, Lagos makes it really easy to do this. There's a couple of different ways. Right here within the sermon feature, you have um, this export button. You can click that. You can also do control P and that, or, or command P if you're on a Mac. That will automatically bring up this print export window. Uh, print and export are always together in Lagos. And it will automatically pull up to print or export whatever you are in at that moment. So since I was in the panel with the sermon, it pulls up my entire sermon here and has it ready to be printed. I have an Epson uh, printer here in my office, so it's ready to do that. If I wanted, I could uh, click on uh, Microsoft Print to PDF, and that way if I hit print, it would automatically turn this into a PDF file. Uh, I can also copy to clipboard, where I could then copy and paste whatever I had here into something else. Now that might not work for a 13 page document like this, but if it was a shorter selection, that might be helpful. What I usually ended up doing uh, was sending to a new document. So let me show you an example of that here. If I click this, and I should be able to drag it over. Perfect. So uh, don't mind the dark mode that I have set here for everything. If that's uh, weird to you why the colors are that way, it's, it's the setting I have. Um, so everything I had here in Lagos is now set up with the same formatting and everything um, right into a Word document. This is a really awesome feature. It's even uh, footnoted telling you when uh, you did that. Uh, so let me get out of that and show you. You can do this with anything. Oh, and you can also change the formatting of it right here, like uh, if you had a different uh, style of paper that you were using uh, or if you wanted it in landscape. Uh, for some reason, like you can do that right there. Um, an actual size is usually not what you want. You want to make sure it is on fit. Uh, let's say you are reading, and I don't know, let me just pull up uh, this commentary right here. This is a First and Second Timothy and Titus commentary. So let's say, uh, let's say this paragraph right here. I real let's say um, I wanted to share this with someone. A friend of mine is doing a, a paper in school on 1st Timothy, actually this part 2nd Timothy, so he's doing a paper on 2nd Timothy, and uh, this paragraph is really helpful for what he needs. Uh, I want to print this and, and give it to him. So I have it highlighted here. I can do Control P, or Command P on a Mac, pulls up the print export, and that paragraph that I have right there is ready to go in a Word document, or I can send it to a PDF. I can copy that to clipboards, put it right into a uh, an email if I want to send it to them that way, what have you. And, and it's just so uh, amazing how it's ready for you just like this. You can also change here what is selected. Um, where up top here it says you selected text, that is what I had hovered over. I could do for the entire section of Second Timothy 1, 15 to 18. Well, that takes it to six pages right there that are ready to go. Um, it has right here where the commentary section, I could add in this connection section right here. And now it's added that to right there, the very last pages. So this is a fantastic feature. Uh, you can use it even for Bible verses if you want to uh, export part of your Bible, or you had a passage list or something like that. So this is a great feature. Uh, maybe if you're preaching or teaching a class or or just want to share something or needs uh, a part of this for a paper or something along those lines the print export feature just hit command or control p uh, and you're able to take whatever you have there in lagos and get it into a physical form really awesome hope that helps you